Oh, never looking at a guy who doesn't look like him. What's so cool about him? He's just your opposite. Tom, you are my dearest friend, but even I can see that you skipped your style classes. Hey! I'm cool. You? you cool? Funny. Oh, I really would do anything to see him just once. <sighs> Had a good sleep, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Something up, Dad? No, oh, no, everything's fine, darling. Here, Dad, I poured your granola for you. Here, Dad, take this apple. I don't want it. I'm making your favorite for dinner tonight, crunchy garden salad followed by chewy toffee pudding. There's no need for everyone to laugh at me. Nobody's laughing at you, darling. Oh, remember the last time Dad thought everybody was laughing at him? It was because he had a toothache. Huh? <laughs> 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 I don't have a toothache, and that's final. <laughs> He's afraid of the dentist. He's afraid of the dentist. Now, dear, I hear real world dentists are absolute kittens. I'm not going to the dentist. I don't need it. Look. <gasps> Out in the hallway. Oh, my poor Tommykins. Did I forget to teach you how to tie your shoelaces? Not that, Mom. The neighbors are going to think we have a wild animal in the house. Oh, don't be silly, dear. Gregor has been house trained for years. Mom, you have to do something about his tooth. Shh. Don't say that word. He might hear you. We have to call them carrots. Carrots? <laughs> Mom, that's ridiculous. Besides, it's fairy union rules. Anything to do with teeth, oh, uh, carrots, is the carrot fairy's field. <laughs> tiddledy dum, tiddledy dee. Fix a big tooth right as can be. See, Mildred, my cousin, is in her final year at the Tooth Fairy Academy, but I haven't spoken to her in absolutely ages. I was considering taking my career in that direction, but. <sighs> All right, I see. I'm gonna take him to the dentist. I'm not sure that's such a good idea with the experiences he's had as a child. <laughs> Don't worry, Mom. It'll be fine. I'll persuade him it's for a nice facial to take his mind off his tooth. Outside, Dad. Now you can come in. Do you think a facial will do me any good? <sighs> it's great. It's really relaxing. You'll totally forget your tooth. Um, carrot. My carrot. <laughs> uh, think of the most relaxing thing you've ever done. <sighs> the time I had a bath in the swamp. <laughs> That's it. Right. I'll pick you up in an hour. Come in, come in. 
Now, why don't you just take a seat while I put on some nice, relaxing music? Where do you keep the swamp? Uh, you need to go to the bathroom? Oh, no, no. Uh, just my son said it would be relaxing. Yes, yes. Very relaxing. Now, you just lie back and relax. <laughs> fizzledy fip, fizzledy foo, in need of a messenger, what shall I do? <laughs> ah! Reuben, can you tell my cousin Mildred that Gregor has tooth trouble and to get here as soon as she can? <sighs> Looks like someone needs a new hairstyle. Today is training day, cut and color free. Eh, my hair's cool. Your hair? Cool. <laughs> uh, did you say free? Wonderful, Reuben. I'll put the kettle on. All right. Now close your eyes and open your mouth. Oh, my. What big teeth you have. <laughs> Relax. I'm putting in a retractor. <laughs> Now, now, let's not be silly or you might freeze your whole mouth. <laughs> you really shouldn't have done that. Calm down. <laughs> Now, really, there's no need for you to be so upset. Now, now, that's not very clever. <laughs> We're just locked in. <laughs> it's not worth getting worked up about. There, there. How about a nice lollipop? Relax. It won't hurt you. Right. Uh, a lollipop's not very good for teeth. Uh, a crunchy apple! No, apple's acidic, bad for teeth, too. Uh, oh, a, a carrot! <laughs> right, carrot's bad. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What are you doing? Show up dressed as the Tooth Fairy now, could I? Tooth Fairies aren't supposed to be out and about during daylight hours. 
But the Easter Bunny is... <laughs> Nobody will notice. Easter's only eight months away. Besides, it makes my bum look good. I would like to... Wake up! Wake up! Doctor, you've got to do something. I still don't think my teeth are white enough. She won't mind. She's really sweet. No. I call on. Oh, oh, oh! You're from Uzbekistan. How? Uh. Oh. <clears throat> Do you think you might consider not killing me? I got. You grab the ogre, uh, I mean your husband, and I'll grab the tooth. It won't hurt him, will it? Of course not. The tooth will be out in one shake of a bunny's tail. <laughs> uh, Mildred? Hmm? My kids really give me a hard time for flying in the real world. Maybe we should walk? Walk? <laughs> sure. I totally forgot. <laughs> Oh dear. Help! <laughs> Save me! Huh? Ah! Uh, it's a miracle! You're one of those tortoise hero guys sent to save me! Tortoise? What? No! about you. Well, sure. Everyone's sister's crazy about me. What are you doing here? I need to improve my smile. It's not white enough. See? <laughs> Soccer players have to smile a lot? Oh, yeah, sure. All the time. But what are you doing under the table? Well, duh. I'm hiding from a crazy guy. A crazy guy? 
Oh, yeah, the one in the consulting room. I'm the last patient who survived. <laughs> Oh no! My dad was here! Definitely a goner, I'd say. I'm gonna go out there. No! Huh? Don't go! Don't leave me alone! You could be his next victim. Maybe I'd better think about this again. Of course, oh, I'd take care of him myself, but my hands are insured for one million, and my feet for four million, and the dimple on my chin is insured for ten. What? What does this crazy psycho guy look like? Oh, about ten feet tall. Uzbekistani, I reckon. Can't understand a word he's saying, and he's unbelievably ugly. He almost looks like an ogre. An ogre? Oh, no! You're gonna get yourself killed? What about me? Dad! What have you done to the dentist? Huh? Tom, you're here. Dad! Where's the ogre? Dear Goldie, I hope you never forget me. Where's the tooth? I think that might be my fault. Good work, kid. Uh, they make you wear your hair like that in school? My quota this month now, thanks to you. Here you go. Whoa! Ogre tooth is worth big bucks these days. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Hmm. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Fizzle dee dum, fizzle dee doo. Everything's back to normal for you. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> it's safe to come out now, Dean. They've all gone. Oh, you're so brave! You saved my life! Of course, I would have saved my life, but I couldn't with my insured hands and all. Sure, I know that. Ah, uh, you wouldn't tell anybody about the under the table hiding thing, would you? Yeah, it would really give the wrong impression. <laughs> hey, is this your note? <laughs> uh, maybe I could take your sister out on a date. <laughs> Sign her a few autographs. Sure. And maybe there's one other little thing you could do. <laughs> wow, that really is a courageous new look you've gone for. Yeah. You know, I, I met this amazing kid recently and he was so incredibly cool, I had to look just like him. <laughs> so here's to you, Dom. <gasps> <laughs> 
Cindy. <laughs> Oh, sorry about this, but you'll have to get used to all these droves of adoring fans all the time. <laughs> they, uh, well, they must not have seen me. Cindy needs to have a chaperone, so I guess I'll be coming along too. Every ferocious job. <laughs> no, Mom, don't fly when we're in town. I already hate shopping as it is, and now I have to walk. People could catch you at it. <laughs> See, being a fairy comes in handy sometimes. Shh, hide your wand, but nobody's here. <laughs> Hello. A witch! No, 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 she's a fairy. Look at her wand. She's a witch with a wand! <laughs> no, no, we'll explain everything. Uh, you're making a mistake. We... we... We're out of here! Huh? Catch them! <laughs> Catch them! Giving them something to freak them out properly. Oh, my poor little angel. Ah, come on, stop your crybaby act. It's over now. Look, he's really taking it badly. <laughs> Peaceful, loving life with your mother without everybody making fun of us. I wanted some place with decent-sized shoes a girl could get her foot into. Too many other witches stealing the limelight. No! <gasps> that isn't it! If we left Fairyland, it was to become an ordinary family. So what's stopping us from being an ordinary family? Uh, we don't have a backyard barbecue? No. It's because of the magic. Therefore, the wand. Your conclusion? 
We have to get rid of it. Tom, let me feel that bump on your head. How many fingers do you see? Do you realize that no more magic means no more princess dresses and no more magic mirror telling me I've got blackheads? <gasps> You're right. Let's burn the wand! You mean we should be an ordinary family with a barbecue and no wand. Okay, magic out, barbecues in! Excuse me, but I think that wand has helped you more than once. Imagine what life would have been like without it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping it. Hmm. If the wand stays, I go. Now that's emotional blackmail. If we're going to survive in this world, we have to live without magic. And you need to forget about the wand. I don't want those crazy people coming to get you and lock you up. Well, if you really think... Okay. It would be easier for me to take it if you would let go. Oh. Huh? Promise you won't follow me? Huh? Why, don't you trust us? <laughs> Just picking apples, that's all. <laughs> From a chestnut tree. <laughs> you too, Dad! Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just picking some... I... Uh, yeah, I'm going home. <laughs> Magic wand, rest in peace in this deep and dark forest. After so many years of dutiful uh, servitude. Sorry, but deep dark forests aren't really my thing. Bye! Except I could have used it this morning. Hmm? Hello, everyone! Mom is going to cook a fantastic breakfast. By hand! <laughs> oh, so let's see. Where's the butter? Butter. Butter, butter, butter. Mm. Oh. Mom, butter's in the fridge. <laughs> of course! Mom, the door, pull. Hmm? I'll take care of it, honey. No big deal. You're going to fix it, right? Of course you are, Dad. Aren't you? Sure. No, oh, I hate making tea. Uh, uh, go sit down, honey. I'll take care of it. Patience and perseverance, that's the secret of learning to live normally. Bishopazam! Ow! Oops, uh, bad reflexes. It'll get better. Uh, I had a minor accident. I sent the bike to the garage, saying as we don't have the wand anymore. 
I'll send you the bill. No problem. We can pay. We'll just wait a little bit to build His Highness's pool. What? <laughs> Stop! Becoming a happy and normal family without a wand isn't that complicated. And you're making it complicated! <laughs> Ooh. Are you sure that bump on the head didn't affect him? He's not himself. No, sweetheart. He has a good point. We need to learn to live a normal life without magic. Hey, the grass is getting really long. We're gonna have to mow it later, Dad. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. We get the wand back. So clever. I'll bet he just pretended to hide it outside. And in fact, it's somewhere right in here. I know it! I can dream, can't I? <laughs> You're home already! I forgot we had a half day for teacher meetings. Oh, I see. You want to get rid of the magic furniture, too. <laughs> uh, yes, well, Tom, you've had a terrible shock and you're not feeling like yourself. And you need to tell us where the wand is! No way. I'll never tell you where I hid it. Hey, anyone here know how to put new batteries in the remote control? Oh, oh you big oaf! Oh, sorry, Ferocia. How does anyone manage to live without a magic wand? got a bedtime story. Once upon a time, there was a poor, misunderstood young boy. So, he decided to tell his dear auntie where he hid the fairy's nasty wand. And then, life was completely normal. So, is it a deal? Uh, wait, uh, let me think. Hmm. No! Hmm. You'll stop playing tough guy when I find the one, you little brat. Well, thanks for the warm welcome. Tom, have you ever considered that your parents might not be able to live without the wand? They grew up in another world. You can't take everything from them. Oh, you're not going to start too. Mom, what about my goodnight cuddle? Got to keep going, Tom. So much to do. Everything is a mess. <gasps> no! Oh, we can explain everything. Oh, she's not a fairy. No! What the heck are you doing here? Just looking for a glass of water. You? Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> oh. Listen, do we want to get the wand back or not? We do, so tape rope. We just let him chill out and think about it in my bedroom for a little while. Have a little relaxing playtime with the pet rats, spiders, cockroaches. I guarantee we get the wand back in less than 24 hours. I'm not sure. Shouldn't we just bake him a delicious cake instead? <sighs> Look, he's sleeping like an angel. Yeah, well, when angels want to play tough, they lose a few feathers. Did someone? 
Someone leave the TV on! told me your wand could talk. I never knew it either. Now it's my turn to bury you alive! <laughs> Look, I was against this from the start! It was all his idea! Listen, wand, let me take you back and everything will be normal again. Okay? <laughs> it was all a silly misunderstanding. You abandoned me! You handed me over to this little monster who tried to get rid of me! When I think that I've been with you since you were a little baby, watched you grow up, get married, I thought I was part of the family! Stick around, sweetheart. Huh? Now line up, one by one! <laughs> What do we do? What do we do? my temper a little bit. A little bit? Ha! I'm a pussycat in comparison to you. I've been overworked and buried alive. <clears throat> but I, I didn't mean... I mean, how can I make amends? Just come home 
and help Mom make breakfast for starters. And fix the remote control. And maybe the house while you're at it. It's all my fault. I wanted us to become a normal family, but His Highness was right. Mom and Dad lived all their lives in another world. And I can't ask them to forget everything. For us, being normal means being different. Hmm. Tom, you seem to be yourself again. Yeah. Um, Tom, are you awake? <laughs> You're sure you don't want a more luxurious residence? Oh, no. The neighbors would be jealous. To think that I grew up in a castle. And one day you'll retire to a smelly swamp. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> An extra day off each week, including Saturdays and Sundays. An annual vacation, no more than eight usages per day, not to include cleaning of Cindy's room, and, very important, never let that witch get a hold of me. Is that it? That's it. In exchange, you agree to never turn against us again and to stop talking from now on. <laughs> I sincerely want to apologize to all of you for what happened. I don't know what got into me. Yeah, you went completely psycho. But that's okay. You can clean my room and do my laundry, seeing as the wand won't do it anymore. What? That's not fair! Welcome to the real world. <laughs> That's lovely, darling. Massacre every last one of them. One more level, and I'll be master of the galaxy! <laughs> you picked a bad moment, Your Highness! Tom, it's urgent. My bathwater is getting cold. I could get double pneumonia. <sighs> uh -uh, not too much, Tom. You better not get cold as quickly this time. Mm. Tom, what about the perfumed lily oil? What kind of a wimp are you? You obey that toad's every whim, like you're his little dog. Are you the master, or is he? Mm -hmm. Look, you're not in the palace here. How about lifting one of those little webbed feet for once, so that I can finish my game? Yeah, keep your wig on, your royal wardling. <laughs> I'd never have imagined that you, Tom, would mock my appearance. That hurts. It really hurts. <laughs> Come on, your highness. I didn't mean to... Uh, don't wear yourself out. I understand. You see me as a commonplace pit. Come on, don't sulk. Okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, nothing fancy. Say, a drop of Earl Grey with a smidgen of dragonfly souffle, a few likely <sighs> buttered slices of toast, ah, and most of all, don't forget the royal jelly. You know I can't digest regular honey. Mom! Dad! I've got great news! On top of the glass and grammar! We're very, very, very proud of you. <laughs> hmm? Oh, of course! <laughs> I promised, didn't I? <laughs> so, what kind of reward do you want? A pet. But you already have His Highness. <laughs> Highness is uh. not a real pet, Dad. Uh, he's not affectionate. He's... Mm. Here's what you need. An adorable beast. 
the house will be safe with this guy, believe me. Oh, don't be silly. We'd never be able to get a leash with three collars. <laughs> uh, how about the animal shelter? They're just like us, you know. Sensitive, delicate. The only thing they lack is language. Oh, you mean they don't talk? Our toad is quite the opposite. He's a real chatterbox. Ribbit! Ribbit! <laughs> a real chatterbox! <laughs> what? Something wrong? You got a problem with a cat wearing boots? <laughs> what did you say? <clears throat> uh, dogs ever chew boots? Only when they're being playful, they won't do any harm. Now look at this little darling. This breed is ideal for children. Whoa! <laughs> he already has a name, Rex. It means king in Latin. Soak the kibble to soften it. And whatever you do, don't leave meat out. A dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times more developed than man's. I'll stop by your house soon to see how Rex is adjusting, to see how he's getting on with your pet frog. <laughs> what a diddle cutie. Adorable. You're so cute, I could eat him up. <gasps> oh, that's just an expression. <laughs> I really don't see what you all find so irresistible about this mutt. Puppy Wuppy. Go, <laughs> oh, Rex! Hand that over right now! Rex! What you did was very naughty! Rex! Come on! Not on my nose! <laughs> Tickles! Hi, Candy! Roast duck with mashed sweet potato. Braised vegetables with tarragon. Yummy apple pie for dessert. Enjoy, Candy! Ah! Mom! Just going to get some dog food for Rex! Okay, sweetie. <laughs> You stay here. They don't let dogs in the stores here. If there's one thing I can't abide, it's over familiarity. Let me help you out there, son. Which one you want? Uh, the chicken and the veal dried biscuits. Nope. Behind those, right in the back. Chicken, veal. Now, how? <laughs> oh, look at the two of you getting on so well together. It's so sweet. <gasps> but what's happening to me? 
It's like a dog's sense of smell is 10,000 times more developed than man's. Maybe I'll end up liking him with no strings attached. <laughs> Hilarious! Uh, that bark really suits you, Verosha. <laughs> well done, Rex. Oh, don't you want to thank our friend? <laughs> Is it your dog that's barking? I hope he's gentle. Our little candy is frightened of vicious dogs. Oh, not vicious. He's absolutely gentle as a lamb, Mrs. Lumberg. He's just a little pup. Uh, he has a cold, and his voice is husky. In fact, I gotta run. Time for his medicine drops. <laughs> Bye! Ferocia, you should be ashamed of yourself. A poor little animal who did nothing to you. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Nothing like help from a professional witch. Don't speak to me in that tone of voice. Uh, what did you just say? <laughs> Uh, Rex's tongue is covered in magic dust. Ever since he licked my nose, I have a dog sense of smell. I guess your throat is even worse. I would advise you to keep away, Gregor, unless you want to experience the same fate. <laughs> it's okay, Rex. It's not your fault. <laughs> Rex! Come here right now! You hear me? <laughs> You know how to talk dog, Ferocia? Oh, I'll bet Rex is happy about that. Have you got your wand? We're gonna need it. Mom will do you as soon as we get back, Aunt Ferocia. If Rex hasn't turned us all into dogs before then. Oh! <laughs> Quiet! Neighbors, down. Lie down. Basket. Ow! You're a dog who bites, are you? Oh, you don't have rabies, do you? That way! This is fun. Do I have to sniff too? No, Mom. I have a dog's sense of smell. <laughs> Different language, same tone. Sorry, my dear, I don't speak poodle. <laughs> Your Highness! My dear Gregor, I've put up with nasty remarks from this shrew for the past four centuries, so now really... <laughs> Ferocia! No doggy biscuits! <laughs> Good day, sir. I'm from the Humane Society Animal Shelter. <laughs> there he is! With the poodle! Oh, they make friends so easily at that age. Think it's normal to baby talk someone who happens to be 63 years old? Not to mention this ridiculous hairstyle. Who are you? Uh, excuse me, miss. I, I think you dropped something. Rex! It's easy 
sleep easy to reverse a recent charm. But if you wait too long, like for His Highness, you're absolutely sure. Mom! <laughs> Mistreatment? Never! He loves being tossed in the air, as ever since he was a tiny tad. Isn't that so, <laughs> your highness? <laughs> huh? uh, uh, let me introduce my sister-in-law, who, uh, I mean, she lost her voice. <laughs> Oh, it worked! I'm cured! Now we better cure Aunt Ferocia. I can't get rid of the magic dust stuck between his teeth. We'll have to brush them when we get home. In the meantime, we better not take any chances. I hope nothing has happened to Rex. They've been gone a long time. <laughs> uh, don't try to talk yet, Ferocia. You'll just damage your vocal cords. Mm -hmm. We found Rex! He almost... What? You lost him? What is that muzzle? He isn't a pit bull! Uh, well, you see, what happened was... I'm very sorry, Tom, but I'm taking Rex back. Ah, uh, so there is a kind of justice after all. Uh, this will probably work out best for you, Rex. Living with this family's tough on anyone. Tom! The lady has to leave now! <laughs> Coming! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should have seen him turning those other dogs into humans. He was so cute. <laughs> yes, I'm coming. <laughs> well, I never. Who would think a toad could be so attached to a dog? But I thought His Highness was jealous. That's beautiful. Aha! So that's it. Uh oh. Well, he certainly made a big mess. How do we feel now? Can you say, ah? <laughs> I wonder if that's good or bad. Uh, you don't have a lion in there, do you? <laughs> no. That's my aunt, watching one of her animal life documentaries. I'll ask her to turn down the volume. <laughs> it's amazing. His face looks almost human. What a shame he's so ugly. Hey, guys, close the door. Aunt Ferocia, please try to keep it down. I'm sorry. She didn't want to listen to me. <laughs> Aww, he just adores his puppy, Rex. A real love story. <laughs> come, come, my dear fellow. Let's put our silly differences behind us and seal our newfound friendship with it. a kiss. <laughs> One difficult moment to get through. Why won't you transform me, you stupid flea bag? See, we are getting closer, 
to your personality. If you weren't my sister, I would have. <gasps> it's me. It's me. I'm me. At last. So that's it. I'm leaving the dog with you after all. This relationship between a dog and a toad is so extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> should have known. Thanks, Your Highness. You just couldn't handle the thought of me having fun with any other animal, could you? Now, who left this in the bathroom? There's magic dust all over the bathroom carpet. Anyone could have been transformed, and for once, it wouldn't be my fault. Oh, no! They changed bodies! His Highness is the one going back to the shelter! Oh! Isn't he beautiful, Mommy? I love his face! <laughs> well, this little fella didn't have to wait long. Hmm? Shh! It's okay. I'm here with Mom. Mm -hmm. It's sweet of you to come. But in fact, I've decided that the doggy life is the life for me. What? Oh, come on, Rex. I mean, your highness. You're not meant for a dog's life. Yes, but humans only like cute animals. But I love you the way you are. <laughs> what about our chess games, naval battles? Have you forgotten all that? I'll play ball. Mm. But your family. As is Ferocia, alas. I love you. Can we get him a pink coat for winter? We'll leave you to your new life with your new owner. It'll be time for your dry doggy biscuits soon. Won't that be a nice change from duck liver pate on toast? Ah, all things considered, I'd like to reassess my decision. <laughs> Right now! Hurry up, Mom! Now! <laughs> Rex? What's wrong? I love you! Go on, say something! <laughs> I was only joking! <laughs> How can you be that lucky? It's a question of flair. I am fed up with losing. Do I really have to give you another foot massage? A deal is a deal, my dear chap. G5, G6, G7! Huh? You're cheating! <laughs> what can I say? That's my human side. It's what you love about me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>